So the Wuhan Institute of Virology is a lab run by the Chinese Communist Party, and it is also a potential origin of the COVID-19 pandemic. According to the State Department, in the fall of 2019, several, several WIV researchers actually fell ill with COVID-19-like symptoms. And since 2017, we know that WIV has engaged in classified research with the Chinese military, the PLA. Additionally, this lab in Wuhan was the subject of two Department of State cables raising significant safety concerns. The Biden administration, scientists, the media, and now even the World Health Organization have called for a thorough investigation of this facility as a potential origin of the COVID-19 pandemic. It's also troubling that the U.S. taxpayers were funding this laboratory through, the federal, through federal grants made to EcoHealth Alliance which is a New York-based nonprofit. In one instance in particular, in particular, EcoHealth provided upwards of $600,000 to WIV through a National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease grant. Unfortunately, this is not the only example of U.S. taxpayer funding going to WIV. In 2013, for example, EcoHealth Alliance was awarded $2.5 million in grants through USAID to study disease emergence. According to the House Foreign Affairs Committee Minority Report and, pub and published research, the EcoHealth Alliance used a portion of USAID grant funding to pay for WIV researchers to conduct gain-of-function research on bat-borne coronaviruses in China. It's worth noting that during the same time, the administration had a moratorium on gain-of-function research. So, Inspector Olam, uh, to date, Congress still, we still do not know the amount of U.S. aid funding that was funneled to the Wuhan Institute of Virology. If the funding was approved for gain-of-function research, and if USA knew of funding, if USA knew the funding was going to a lab controlled by the Chinese Communist Party. So with that, Mr. Olin, yes or no, is there an active investigation as to whether how much and to the extent of how much money U.S. aid was uh, being sent to the WIV? Thank you, Congressman, for that question. Um, so, so we don't typically uh, uh, comment on, on investigation. So, uh, oh, uh, Inspector Olam, I'm not asking you to comment. I just want to know if there is an investigation. It's very common for uh, individuals like IGs, et cetera, to say if there is an investigation or not. So just a yes or no, is there an investigation or not? Sure, yeah. I, uh, you know, really, I can't confirm or deny that. What I can tell you, though, Congressman, is, is when we have an actionable, credible allegation of, of fraud and wrongdoing, uh, I assure you that our office will look into it. Again, I, I always go back to the issues of actionable, incredible, and, uh, you know, we have uh, a staff. Well, I mean, I just gave you, I just gave you that, that research, and this is research and documents that were done by the Obama administration. Uh, that, you know, this is not com something coming from a, you know, far-right news source. So this was the Obama administration and the World Health Organization, which cl clearly – uh, is not exactly United States friendly. But what, uh, I'll, I'll just take what you said as a no, that we don't have an investigation. What would your office need to actually conduct an investigation or at least an audit to see how much money the U.S. taxpayers were sending the WIV to do this biological gain of function research? So, so Congressman, uh, one, I'd be happy to talk uh, uh, outside the public forum on any of the investigative activities. But, but to, to your specific question regarding an investigation, um, I spent 25 years in federal law enforcement and, uh, and, and rose up, up in the ranks of leadership. And what I always talk to the agents about is making sure that we have actionable, credible allegations of fraud that we're able uh, uh, to track, have witnesses, have documents that we can look into uh, to ascertain if a criminal violation occurred if potentially there's a, a, a civil remedy in place, or if we can't uh, deal with something from a criminal or civil remedy, to be able to uh, refer something back to U.S. Well, Inspector, Inspector, are, Inspector are, we, are, we at least, are we at least putting uh, policies in place to prevent U.S. tax dollars going to overseas laboratories that are controlled by adversaries such as the People's Liberation Army or, or other adversaries nationally? Do we have any guardrails in place? 
So, so regarding policy, I can't speak specifically on po policy, but from an oversight uh, perspective, what I can tell you is the work that we do out of our office is solely designed to provide value and impact and to help uh, USA be a more effective uh, administrator of foreign assistance funds. I'd like to... Well, I'm, out of, I'm, out of, I'm just going to yield back, Chairwoman. I'm out of time. Thank you for the, the, the allotted time. I appreciate it.